So I uh, took the drone up for a quick flight and um, immediately got swarmed by bees, as you can see. And uh, I've um, always tried to avoid being swarmed by bees. If I see one bee, uh, I'm pretty much out of there, me personally, like I'm running. <laughs> uh, I got attacked by bees when I was a kid. I think we all have at least once. Um, but I had, I'd never had this happen with my drone. Um, now I'm flying the Air 2S and um, I've been flying this drone for like two years since it came out. And I've flown it year round and I've never had a swarm of bees like this. I've, I've had uh, hawks and, and stuff like that. You know, you know, birds, especially seagulls when I'm out filming boats and stuff. But I've never had a swarm of bees follow me as far as they did when I was flying. So I'm, now I'm trying to gain elevation because I realize every time I drop elevation, I'm just basically dropping into a cloud of them. Um, because they're above me, they're below me, they're mostly below me. Um, as you can see, I keep the camera tilted down and they, they, they come on up. Um, uh, even though I was watching this remotely, I was uh, pretty scared, and I, and I know a little bit about bees. When they attack something, they release a pheromone, and um, that pheromone basically lets all the other bees in their colony know, we're getting at this guy. So, and I literally just got done cleaning my drone and pulling stingers out of it. They, they stung... They stung behind the gimbal, they stung, they, I mean, it didn't, obviously didn't penetrate the plastic the drone is made of, but there were stingers hanging off of, of the drone. I, I couldn't believe this, and I obviously didn't want to land it immediately um, and bring the bees to me, um, so, but I was just in awe that this was happening for the first time. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm probably, my drone is probably covered in bees. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, you know, hurt the bees and stuff like that and make them f flip out. So I'm going to try and get, get away. So I, I do a loop and increase elevation, drop elevation and go down the street a little bit. Now I'm looking around, I'm trying to see. Now, I'm down the street and they've, and they've caught up with me. I'm basically a, uh, down, you know, down the street around the corner. So they, they, they found me, they found me about uh, at least a thousand feet away. Um, so I continued my circle and uh, you'll see the intersection right where I pan to. Oh. Now there's the trail again. Intersection upper left hand corner about to uh, go away. Yep, just went away. And uh, now I'm hoping that these bees still don't have a lock on me, like a heat-seeking bee missile. <laughs> um, that, that would uh, not be good. So at this point, I'm just going to try and land as quickly as possible at my friend's house. So, oh, and the bees are back. So I'm basically I don't I uh, yeah <laughs> they even come down with me a little bit 
and I shut off motors as quickly as I can because I assume that's what is attracting them. And that's that.